So let me get this straight. California is literally on fire. There have been lives lost, total devastation, people missing, state of emergency. Trump's been out there. And yet the governor has vowed to fund the efforts to make sure illegals don't get deported. You can't make this stuff up, guys. I, I just, I am beside myself because I don't know what kind of techniques they're using, what kind of gaslighting, what kind of Jedi mind tricks they are playing on the residents of California because they just had a blue wave. How is it that Florida is a part of the same country as California, but they, they're worlds apart? They couldn't be further apart on politics, taxes, immigration, you name it. At this point, California is a detriment to the United States. It's not an asset. It's really not. That has got to be the least patriotic state. And for, let me, before I go any further, for my patriots out in California, I salute you because I don't know how you guys have put up with it for as long as you have. I know you're frustrated. I know you see what's going on. I know you see that the media is not covering it. The media is focused on, um, Donald Trump said, you know, we should have killed Bin Laden much sooner. He's always taking credit for stuff and thinking he likes to toot his own horn. Or the Democrats are suing um, the administration because they don't want Matthew Whitaker taking over as attorney general. Or everyone's favorite, Jim Acosta is about to get his press pass revoked for a second time. Dun, dun, dun. Like, thank God for the invention of technology because otherwise we wouldn't know that Mexico is revolting against this caravan. I saw some videos today and shout out to the people on Facebook that sent me this, uh, these articles and videos and stuff. But the people of Tijuana are pissed. I saw them protesting. They're out there in the streets. They got the Mexican flag. They're chanting Mexico, Viva la Mexico, whatever. And they're telling these migrants, which let's stop calling them migrants. Got to stop with the news speak. These illegal alien invaders have taken over their city and they're hostile. They're destabilizing. They're taking advantage of the Mexican government. And even the mayor of Tijuana came out and said, we're overwhelmed. Some of these people are not friendly. They're, they're smoking weed. They're doing all this crazy stuff. And people on the street are just videoing it. Like, look, look at what's going on out here. These people are rejecting food and water and shelter. I thought they were seeking asylum. And for all these virtue signaling liberals in these blue check marks on social media trying to say, yeah, look at look at Mexico. Look at these Mexican, uh, these intolerant Mexicans, you know, taking out on these innocent, starving migrants. Donald Trump's hatred has just passed over into Mexico. It's like, wait a minute. Aren't you the same people that said Donald Trump was racist for wanting to build a wall and not wanting illegals coming in? So how is it racist if Mexico's rejecting the same thing? How is it that nationalism is so terrible? You know, if nationalism is so terrible, don't ever, ever cheer in the Olympics again. You, you got to boycott the Olympics. You got to boycott the World Cup. Nationalism is just putting your country's interests first. And I'm sick and tired of the media and celebrities and these bleeding heart liberals that just want a virtue signal, trying to make it sound like nationalism is racism. Let me tell you something. Nationalism is not a race. American is not a race. This is the least racist country on earth. It's the most diverse country on earth. It's the most accepting country on earth. And oh, by the way, it's the most prosperous country on earth, which is why these people are coming here. And please don't make it seem like you care about these illegals. You don't give a damn about these illegals. You care more about hating Trump. You hate Trump more than you love these illegals. Sorry, undocumented immigrants. You don't care about them. I never heard a word about it before Trump became president. Now people are just going against their own self-interest. They're like, you know what? I would rather not do what makes sense. I'm pissed at Trump, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to vote for all Democrats. Blue, no matter who. I don't care. I just want Trump gone, so I will vote to have my leg cut off. I don't care what that Democrat is pushing. It's a Democrat. I'm voting for it. It's just, when you think about these migrants, why... Wouldn't they just stay in their own country? First of all, if they're seeking asylum, I believe, um, is it the United Nations or whatever, whoever it is that establishes the law and that defines what seek, asylum seeking is, 
they're supposed to seek asylum in Guatemala, not Texas, not New Mexico, not Arizona, not California. And for them to reject asylum means that they're not seeking asylum. So how do you still have sympathy for them? You know, why not go back to Honduras or wherever you came from and make your country great? You notice how the people who hate America the most refuse to leave it. So I got to give them props on that. You know, at least they're willing to stay here and fight for what they believe, even though it's the wrong thing. Um, you know, go back to Honduras. I would love to see Honduras become great. I would love to go visit there. I would love to go stimulate that economy by taking a nice vacation there. I've been to Costa Rica. I don't understand how these liberals are inviting these illegals over because they crossed all the way over. They went to the westernmost part of Mexico to enter through Tijuana, right? It doesn't make any sense. If you're seeking asylum, the quickest way to get to the United States is go due north, right up to Texas. But nope, because they know that they would be met with border security, ICE, Texas government is cooperating with ICE and you will be deported. But California has made itself available like, hey, yeah, we're, we're a safe haven. We're, you know, we're going to show the country how it's done. We're going to invite these people over here. They can vote. They can run for office. We've got warm meals, you know, nice cozy beds. Meanwhile, they got an explosive tent city epidemic. Needles on the street, people homeless, people can't pay their mortgage. What a shit show. I, I just, I'm beside myself with this, guys. I, I just, I don't even know what to do anymore because this is obviously the biggest threat to our country. And more people need to stand up. We got to stop apologizing. You got to stop. We have to stop apologizing. We got to be more outspoken. We got to be more willing to fight. Thank God for President Trump because he stiffens the spine of the Republican Party. You got to look at people like Lindsey Graham speaking out now. There's a lot more people that are on board with the nationalist agenda. And if Trump's a nationalist, so am I. So if Trump's a racist, so am I. Everything's racist, therefore nothing's racist. I mean, I've lost track of everything that they're calling racist and everything else. I care about this country first. If we can take care of everyone here first, make sure people aren't drinking lead water, make sure California is not on fire, you know, the hurricane that hit Florida, we have poverty here. We have people that are struggling here and we're going to take care of illegals. You can't make this stuff up, man. I just, we need a wall. I would be totally fine with every single one of my dollars, taxpayer dollars going towards building the wall, defunding sanctuary cities. Liberals always talking about you, we Building wall is pointless. It's too expensive. Yeah, well, if we defund sanctuary cities and get the parasites out of here that are not supposed to be here, that are actually leeching off the government, they're part of the criminal justice system too, get them out of here. Maybe, just maybe, we could afford the wall. I don't understand how the statement America first has become so controversial. Why wouldn't you want to put the priorities of the country first? But again, they don't care. They never cared about these illegals. They care about hating Trump. They hate Trump more than they love these illegals. And that's the bottom line. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I would love to debate a liberal. I would love for anybody, a progressive, a leftist, whatever, whatever we're calling them, I would love to debate them because you can't convince me for one second that you care about these citizens because it's not even in their own best interest to truck along, go through Mexico, deal with the coyotes and the rapists and the disease and the, the temperatures, the, the, the climate, everything they have to go through to get just to get to America. You can't convince me that you care about them because you don't. It's not possible. Stop it. And to conflate nationalism with racism and talking about how, look at it, it's, it's rising. Or Trump is causing all of this. Look at Mexico is becoming nationalist and fascist now. Or maybe, maybe they just care about their country and they want to prioritize their citizens. You know, kind of like what we're doing here. So let me know what you guys think. Um, sound off in the comments. I really want to hear what you guys, what your take is on this. Should we just all, let's all get together and let's all just meet at the border and let's just, let's start building the wall ourselves. Let's just, you know, let's get some bricks together some concrete and let's just start building the wall ourselves I, I, that's the only way i can see it getting done because democrats obviously don't care they don't care about citizens 
the lame stream media keeps focusing on all these other news. Like, not only are they fake news, they don't report real news. And, you know, it's just, we have to do something. This has gone on way too long. This is now center stage, even though the media wants to deny it and downplay it and minimize it. And the sheep that are watching are like, it's not really a big deal. You know, no human is illegal. We should just let them in. It's like, if you really care about fixing the world's problems and you think America is the solution, then, and diversity is our strength, then let's get diversity of immigrants. Let's get people from African countries. What about Southeast Asia? They don't have the luxury to just walk here. You know, geopolitically, it's not going to work for them. They'd have to, they'd have to do some swimming to come here illegally anyway, or overstay a visa, but I'm not going to go on a tangent. This is nonsense. I'm going to continue to speak up about it. See, I was talking the other day about what I want to do next and what direction I should go. It's got to be this. This is what I'm focused on. We got to make sure that we secure our nation. We're a sovereign nation. This is why I advocate for sovereignty. We are a sovereign nation and we're going to prove it. California, something's got to be done. Sound off in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next video.